thank you everyone for your great feedback and questions on last week's vlog. Joyce, let's start there. Question number one, why do all agents have to represent the seller? Well, it's a really good question. New York State mandates all licensees to represent all sellers unless they're in a contractual agreement with that buyer. Which brings us to the next question, which does the buyer have to pay a fee to hire an agent to represent them and who pays the buyer's agent's commission? You should really clarify this with the agent because everyone does their business differently, but typically we find that there is no retainer or fee involved in hiring an agent and the buyer's agent commission is paid by the seller through the proceeds of the sale at closing, just like a transaction if the agent was representing the seller. And now another question that was asked is what is dual agency? Well, dual agency is when a company holds a contract with both parties, holds it with the seller and also the buyer that's buying that home. And we had another question, let's see. Yes, we had another question. Um, yes, we do. Can an agent that's representing the buyer talk about school districts and neighborhoods? That's a tricky one. Well, not too tricky, it's, it's a big no. Um, as New York State licensed real estate agents, we abide by fair housing laws and regulations. We are prohibited to give our opinion on school districts and neighborhoods. It's a personal choice where you want to live, where you want to send your children. I may want to live someplace and right. you may want to so live someplace it's, else. For our opinion really is not of importance. It's really where you choose to live and send your children. So you can go on the internet and find out the facts and information of places and schools you're considering. Okay, Elena, let's talk about last week's question and give them the answer. We had asked out of 31,000 31, agents in Suffolk and Nassau County, of how many, how many of them did six or more deals in 2019? It's pretty shocking. So out of 31,000 agents in Nassau and Suffolk County, only 2,861 agents did six or more transactions in 2019, which is it's, a crazy statistic. It's really but, shocking. And you know, it's important to look at track record and statistics, but you know, it's also, there's so many other things to consider when looking into an agent. Most well, importantly, full, full time. time. Yes. Which means 24 seven. Yes, this isn't a five day a week job. Um, this is a 24 seven job. So you really wanna know that your agent is either on top of the inventory for you looking for properties if you're working with them as a, um, a buyer's agent or as a seller's agent, you wanna make sure they're on top of your listing every single seven day. Seven days a week and it's op their listing is open for business seven days a week. Um, you could also go online. You want to look for reviews. You want to ask for references. Yeah, references are very important. Ask them for references of past clients. I mean, even people beyond, do that to us. Yes, I mean, it's, and we're happy to give them even beyond reviews. References are very important. And interview several agents. I mean, this is a major decision. Interview the agents because that brings us to that other question that comes up all the time. Are real estate agents employees? No, we're not. We're independent contractors of that company. So when we take on listings and we market the home, most of that marketing dollars come from us. Yes, it's really important whether you're hiring a buyer's agent or a seller's agent to know what that specific agent or team you are hiring, what they are going to be doing for you. So it's really important to evaluate that as well. I mean, look, look, this is one of your major assets, no matter what level you are, you're at, you really need somebody full time. Yes. This is a big decision that cannot be taken lightly. So really do your homework, um, interview several agents, everything we talked about, it's just really um, paramount for you to evaluate and make the best decision and have the best match. So, swipe right. When you find that trustworthy, full-time agent, you can swipe right. <laughs> Message us, leave a comment, and let us know if you have any questions. Questions. Okay, let's start over. Don't do all these bloopers. Say questions. No, don't do these bloopers. Fee to hire My an phone's agent. phone's going off. Can I just get that? Because <laughs> I can't. I
Is the pen okay in my hand? One, why, okay, ready? Wanna do it again? Okay. <laughs> okay. We have to start all yes. over? Yep. Oh. So to the next question. If you hire a buy, buyer's agent, who, I can't do this anymore. <laughs>